Miffy Lovey in her stall just to keep her with her baby. And I'm going to keep the other goats out for the day. And probably maybe for longer, but Coco will have to sleep in here tonight to be separate from her baby so I can milk her tomorrow. I'm checking on the little one and make sure she's up and at it and has some energy to her and some life to her. How's it going? She's got meconium poop all over her legs. Usually the mama will lick all that off and keep their baby clean. I know Coco did. She kept her babies immaculate. And so it's a little bit concerning if Lovey's not licking her and keeping her clean, but we'll just keep an eye on it and make sure that they're bonding and she's nursing and taking an interest in the little one. You're gonna have to get closer to the mat, little one. There you go. There you go. Since Lovey only has the one kid, I'm a little concerned that, you know, the kid will prefer one side and not nurse off of both sides. So I'd love any information that you guys have on that. Like, should I go ahead and start milking Lovey? and allow the baby to, to nurse because Lovey just has the one kid. I'm also just gonna take some time and observe Lovey and make sure she's acting like she feels okay. Um, there can always be a chance of a little bit of retained placenta and that can cause her to get very sick. <laughs> I'm really interested to see how much this little girl weighs because she is a lot smaller than Coco's babies were. It looks like somebody pooped on you. It's fun to be a mom, huh? <laughs> I think all moms can relate to newborns nursing constantly and getting poop all over them. Hey babies. You guys seem giant now compared to Lovey's baby. <laughs> It's so interesting because our new little baby goat was born exactly one month after uh, Coco had Rose and Lady. Oh, your coloring is just so beautiful. Yay! I'm actually going to try to clean her up a little bit. I don't have any paper towels down here, but... All right. I'm going to be checking on you, making sure your mom is loving on you. All right, see you in a little while. I'm going to come wash your babies behind. All right, I got some warm soapy water. There are actually hunters out here just a minute ago, out on those pastures up there. But at first, they were right in this little scrubby area here. I came out of the barn and saw these men sitting there with all these dogs and guns. If you guys have watched our videos, you know that we hunt, we have guns, but it's kind of nerve wracking when there's someone else around with guns and it was, it was like four guys. I just informed them very kindly that we have four children and that they play outside. I think they were hunting for a rabbit and I think they got some and are gone now, but our neighbors around us lease their pastures and woods to hunters, so it can sometimes be a little bit scary to just walk out your door and see like a bunch of guys with guns. <laughs> I just walked in here to this. Lovey over here and baby over here. I would love to know if you guys think that that's normal. That is not how Coco behaved. Coco had her babies with her right up against her all the time. So I really am gonna keep a close eye on this situation. She's nursing, that's a big plus. Let's see what you do. Let's see you go cry a little and your mama will come to your rescue. See when Coco's babies would cry like that? Coco would come running. At least it's warm, baby. At least it's warm water. It could be like freezing cold water. Ugh. Are you worried about her yet? Good. She's fine, but you should be worried because she's crying for you. Much better. All nice and clean. Look, here's your baby. Lick her up. Get her dry. Lick her up. Come here. You need to be... You need to be sniffing that butt. Look, sniff her. Good, keep cleaning her. Good job. That's what I like to see, Miss Lovey. 
try to keep that little butt clean now. Okay, all seems well now. I mean, I still don't know if Levy's catching on to what her job is, but she should know. She, it's her second freshening. Now I'm gonna go wash my hands. <laughs> I'm gonna go weigh the baby. You call her shiver. <laughs> oh wait, if she's gonna nurse, let her nurse first. I see you made her a little toy. Yeah, I brought the toy back in here and I made her a bed she was snapping on it. See? Alright, if she's not gonna nurse, then let's go weigh her real quick. This is her first time away from Mama. I hope she's only like a couple pounds. Put all of her legs on there. Oh, she's so tiny. Oh, he wants to hold her. He can't hold her. He can just pet her. Hi. Why do you want Lovie's poop? No, don't say that. Oh, good. She's nursing. I want to see this. Everyone be real quiet. I never see her really nurse. Right, and don't step in that poop. She is so pretty. What should we name her, guys? Um, a Apple, because her little A. Yeah. I thought we thought about Hope, too. Oh, yeah, Hope. Winter. <laughs> no. She was born in the winter. No, I only told her so Toe Yeah, Winter. Tell me what you want to... I name her Toe Side. Toe Side? <laughs> what do you want to name her? Winter. How about you get to name the first boy goat? We don't have a boy goat yet. So when we get one, you get to name him. I'm going to call it Shire Poop. Shire Poop? Yeah, because it kind of poops. <laughs> he likes that toy as much as the goats do. Uh... So we decided to name her Winter because the girls really love this dolphin named Winter. Um, you may have seen the movie Dolphin Tale. Anyway, um, and also she was born in winter and she kind of has the color of winter. So her name is Winter. And she's so little. We're going to be keeping a close eye on her and making sure she's getting enough to eat. Lobby, go lay down with your baby. <laughs> 